Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. So I'm being called to do a reading specifically for a masculine energy um, that I've been ch I've been channeling a, a few messages um, unknowingly, not intention or unintentionally. Um, about a masculine energy who I feel is in a place of um, trauma. This masculine energy, um, I feel, has made some sort of discovery that he himself cannot um, understand fully and he's looking for answers. Um, I do feel like now this masculine knows where he needs to be. This masculine is aware of um, the deception that he was in. Um, this masculine has, a, you know, he's been enlightened about darkness. Okay, so at least now he knows where the light is. Uh, spiritual darkness, should I say. Um, and he has now moved himself away from that spiritual darkness and he is trying to find the light. Um... But this masculine who I unintentionally picked up, I mean, I wasn't even trying to channel them. I just heard a message about them. I feel like this masculine um, just started his awakening or just became enlightened about spiritual darkness um, and is seeking answers. So let's pull in his energy and see what's going on here. Tell us about this masculine, please. Tell us about this masculine. You have the Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles. I mean, it's like literally what I just said. The cards are just really confirming, confirming what I said. The Seven of Wands. This is someone who's very defensive. Seven of Wands is a stand your ground card. And there could even be some paranoia that this masculine is uh, experiencing. He's very defensive. He's questioning everything now. Everything that he was, a, I'm hearing everything that he was a part of. He is extremely paranoid. I mean, it's like I, I'm getting an image and I'm seeing someone frantically, you know, looking around, looking behind them questioning everything that's around them but they are in protective mode and this masculine needs to be in this energy this masculine needs to be in this protective energy here okay this seven of wands yeah <clears throat> You know, ignorance is a bliss, but knowledge is power. This is someone, it's bad to be in deception and not know. It's almost like being in danger and you don't know. So how are you supposed to seek protection? You know, how are you supposed to seek coverage, right? Yeah. And now that this masculine is aware, he can now stand his ground, defend himself, question things and not allow and not be um, oblivious like he was before. Because not everything was what it seemed to be is what I'm hearing from him. Not everything was what it seemed to be like. It's like some a clue, you know, was right in his face, but he didn't see it because he was unaware, he had no knowledge about spiritual darkness. So it just flew right over his head. The obvious was all around this person, but if you don't have knowledge about something, you're not gonna be able to pinpoint it, right? You won't look into it. Ignorance is a bliss, but knowledge is power. Yeah, the sun card came out. Oh, I was holding the cards. Um, 
I was holding the cards upside down. Sorry, you guys. So it's actually like this. That's why I came out like this. But um, the sun, the sun is enlightenment. It is an awakening. The sun could also represent healing, happiness, fulfillment, growth, expansion, fertility. But the sun is really is really uh, symbolizing this masculine's enlightenment that he's waking up to a lot that he was oblivious about. And on the back of the deck, you have the nine of swords. You know, this masculine is questioning things because the knight of swords is someone who's having sleepless nights, can't get out of their head, sort of jumping to conclusions and thinking about the worst. It's like this masculine's having to reevaluate his entire life, some of his belief system, his belief systems. Maybe this is someone who is more, more so religious and didn't know about the, the, the spirit world, doesn't have much uh, spirituality. So he's also questioning his beliefs and, and you know the things that he was taught. Clarify, okay, let's see, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, someone who who experienced delays, blockages, and that's why they took so long. Um, but it's a slow yet steady energy, you know, and slow, slow and steady wins the race. Because I feel like this masculine here has also acquired wisdom wisdom through his experiences and literally on the back the hermit the hermit yes it's isolation it's you know someone who's healing and recovering but it's also a self-discovery card you see how this this individual is in darkness but he has his lamp here trying to find the light trying to find clues trying to get on the rightful path it's self-discovery and I said it, I said how this individual, you know, they were in darkness, spiritual darkness. And now they know that they know that they were in darkness and they know that they have to find the light. And they're looking for that light. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. On the back, the Wheel of Fortune. So the Two of Wands is someone who's wanting or trying to get a sense of direction, okay? They have options here. Which direction do I go? Okay, which direction do I go? Now, this is someone who, I feel this person's leaving something behind to go elsewhere. They're trying to reach another destination, but they, they it's a late arrival because they had some delays here. They were, you know, they took a long time. So they're gonna be a late arrival, but it's never too late to reach your enlightenment. It's never too late. This person may have had to learn some lessons first, you know, before their enlightenment or those lessons actually was a catalyst. Those lessons were a catalyst to their enlightenment. Now, this person here has made a decision with the Two of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune is a karmic wheel. The Wheel of Fortune says, what goes around comes back around. You either have uh, fortune on your side or you have misfortune. It just depends on, you know, what your actions were. I feel like this is someone who knows now where the grass is greener. They know which side they need to be on. They know that they were in darkness and now they need to be in the light.
This is someone who wants to be on the right side now. If there was some sort of battle or conflict going on, they want to be for the good team. For, they want to be on the good side. Tell us more about the Seven of Wands. Page of Swords. I feel like this individual um, has completely distanced themselves. They have completely distanced themselves um, from a situation. Pages represents, it, it's a communication, it's a message. Typically, it's a message from a distance. It's almost like I see this masculine distance himself from that deception that he was in. And now he's looking towards someone to communicate with. And on the back, sorry, on the back you have the Three of Cups. So whoever he's looking at, this is someone who he knows. This is, they affiliated with each other, the Three of Cups. These people are partying with each other. So they know each other. Friends, acquaintances, associates. Okay. Three of Cups is a third party. So they're looking at someone who is a third party, someone who is an outsider. Or maybe someone who they made an outsider, someone who they could have outcasted or made a third party. But they're looking back at that person and I feel like they're, gonna, they're going to send communication. They're at a distance from this person. Maybe they live, you know, opposite sides of town or in a different city or a different state or country. This is most likely going to be a phone call, a text, a letter. Maybe even try to message this uh, outsider person um, through social media. Tell us about this page of swords, please. Yeah, it's a Queen of Cups who is going to receive this message from this masculine. Now, Queen of Cups is very loving, very kind. This is someone who knows how to give and receive love. Very emotionally balanced. Sensitive. Okay? Queen of Cups, this is typically... This is a masculine energy. The Queen of Cups would then be... Queen of Cups can sometimes be seen as the woman who a man is in love with. Or perhaps this queen here once gave an emotional cup of love um, to this masculine energy. And so that is how he is still seeing her. As someone who has feelings, uh, uh, romantic feelings for him. Wow. Tell us about this Queen of Cups. Oops. Oh. This Queen of Cups being the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a big victory card. Victory after a war. After challenges. See? It's so clear that... And I said it. This person now sees where the grass is greener. And it's so clear that this Queen of Cups is a victor here. There was some sort of war, some sort of issue that was going on, conflict that was going on. And clearly she is the victor, this Queen of Cups. And she's being blessed with an Ace of Pentacles. Aces, this is the hands of the Most High, the Divine, giving her a gift of abundance. Yes, this is a divine gift of abundance. 
something that's going to bring her stability. You know, Ace of Pentacles could be a financial opportunity, a new job. Okay? A new love, you know, a new a new romantic commitment. Whatever it is, it's stable and it's and it's going to bring her abundance. This is her reward. Pentacles are a reward. This is her reward for this war that she fought. She is the victor. And even this masculine energy sees that. And that could be why he is wanting to contact her. And she also has the Ace of Cups. Wow. She also has the Ace of Cups, a divine gift of a new beginning. Double the blessing, right? You see the dove, the communion. Her cup is overflowing with blessings. Wow. Tell us about the Seven of Wands. Tell us more about the Seven of Wands. The moon. On the back, the Three of Pentacles. So the moon is secrets or something that's hidden, something that's not being seen. The moon is deception. Remember, the Seven of Wands is the energy of this masculine. He's in defense mode. He's standing his ground, protecting himself, defending himself. So if we clarify the Seven of Wands and the moon came out, it means that this masculine is fully aware that he was in deception and he's backing away from it. He's backing away from the, the, the deceitful people who put him in that deception. He's backing away from the lies, the secrets, the manipulation. And on the back, is the, the, the Three of Pentacles could represent a collaboration or it could represent studying something, recognizing something. I'm telling you, this masculine energy has discovered something, found something out. And this is connecting to the previous reading that I just posted. And I and, and I believe I titled it, they, you know, they they discovered something that you were warning them about, and now they want to talk to you. This is like a continuation. You see how this masculine is, this third party is standing on a stool, pointing a flashlight at these two people. That's what this masculine did. Something was brought to his, his attention. He found out something. He found out about darkness, spiritual darkness. But when he did, when he did find out about spiritual uh, darkness, it brought in the, the sun, right? Sometimes you have to be in darkness for you to know where the light is. Sometimes in order for you to know what good is, you have to experience bad first. So this spiritual darkness that he encountered is pushing him towards the light. It's pushing him to be closer to God. This masculine could be doing things like praying, cleansing, connecting to God spiritually, right? Perspective is everything. Because once this masculine found out he was in darkness, once he discovered some darkness here, he quickly realized that he needed to be in the light, that he needed to be where the grass was greener, that he needed to be on the right team. He needed to be on the side of goodness, on the side of the light, not darkness. That's what I'm saying, when you don't know 
when you don't know something, you know, you're innocent to it. Ignorance is a bliss, but knowledge is power because now that he knows, he's now acting accordingly, taking the necessary action that, that needs to be taken. But before he didn't know, so he was ignorant to it, blind, oblivious. He was settling in this deception because he did not know. But now that they know better, it looks like this masculine now wants to do better. Clarify the moon. King of Swords. King of Swords in the upright. This is someone who is very intelligent, very sharp, sharp-minded, very blunt and to the point, honest, transparent, a man of integrity, dignity, serious-minded. This is not someone who plays games. This is like a no-nonsense type of person. Someone who's standing their ground someone who knows how to set boundaries so that they won't get taken advantage of, right? King of Swords in the upright is not a, a, a bad person. They just don't tolerate nonsense. Okay, they just don't tolerate nonsense. He's keeping to himself. Four of Pentacles is someone who has withdrawn. Yes, it could be a selfish card, a greedy card, someone who has an attachment. But no, I feel like the Four of Pentacles is saying he's like protecting himself. He has withdrawn. He's keeping to himself. He has detached. Because now he knows that there's secrets, that there's deception. Let's look at the King of Pentacles. Clarify the King of Pentacles. And these are all the energies that the ma this masculine is in. He's in the Seven of Wands energy, King of Pentacles energy, and the Five of Pentacles energy. Clarify the King of Pentacles. And it looks like this masculine may be dealing with something that this Queen of Wands dealt with. This Queen of Cups, should I say, dealt with before. But she's she's victorious. She's victorious. She overcame her, you know, her war. And perhaps that's why he's looking at her with the Page of Swords and wanting to communicate with her. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. On the back, Queen of Wands. So King of Pentacles, Mr. Boss, right? King of Pentacles is known to be successful, ambitious, goal-oriented, could be a business owner, entrepreneur, whatever his uh, profession is. This is someone who's like a go-getter, okay? Who's striving for success. Now, I feel like this person here got themselves tangled up in something because they wanted success so badly, a little bit too badly. Because one thing I also know about the King of Pentacles is that this is someone who could be uh, materialistic.
Now you have the nine of wands that's here. Nine of wands is a wounded warrior, someone who's ill, someone who's in a bad, unhealthy condition, struggling. Their mental health isn't good. Someone who's faced too many challenges. And if they face one more, they've been hit with nine wands. If they hit 10 wands, that's defeat. That's the kind of burden that they can't take. So they're just going to crash and burn. So you see, I feel like this is someone who was too consumed with their work too consumed with with finances and work trying to be a go-getter trying to don't get me wrong everyone wants to be successful but you can't be too consumed with one aspect of your life and then you abandon the other areas of your life because this is exactly what this person did they were just working 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 Focusing too much on the 3D and they abandoned the other parts of their life. See, now their mental health isn't, isn't good. Now they're facing other challenges, most likely with their health. I feel like this is someone who is ill. So they may have the job, they may have the success, but they're ill, they're unhappy, they're traumatized, they're paranoid. So was it really worth it? Because now they're in a condition where they may not even be able to enjoy their success. This person is also the eight of swords, this masculine energy. Energy, they are the eight of swords. Eight of swords, I wouldn't wish this state of mind on my worst enemy. It's like being trapped, restricted. Being in a mental prison, can't get out of your head. Being, feeling like you're stuck in chaos and you don't know who put you there. You don't know how to get out. It's like this masculine, I hear this masculine saying, how did I let this happen? How did I let things get to this point? Because you were not paying attention to the other important, important parts of your life. You were too busy trying to be a moneymaker. The stress is too much for this masculine. Tell us more about the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords, please. Tell us more about the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Wands, please. Yeah, Seven of Swords. This is, uh, this is like, uh, what's the word? Um, oh, I lost it. Sorry. <laughs> Seven of Swords is someone who's um, being negligent. That's the word, being negligent. They neglected themselves for money, for, for success, some sort of materialistic gain. The, 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 the Seven of Swords is doing something sneaky and not wanting to get caught. It's, it's being scandalous, being deceptive, stealing, lying, manipulating, deceiving. I feel like someone here just neglected their well-being. They were too focused on the material world, the fame, the status. You know, the money, they were too focused on that. So they could have been living like an, an, an indulgent life even. I feel like this person was living an indulgent life where, you know, it's almost like they were just drinking a little bit too much, partying a little bit too much, sleeping around a little bit too much. And now they've crashed. And look, Nine of Pentacles, someone who's successful, well accomplished. There's ways that you can be a King of Pentacles and a Nine of Pentacles and still, 
and still nurture yourself and still take care of yourself. You can be successful and healthy. This person failed to take care of themselves, I'm telling you. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Wow, Five of Swords is in the reverse. It's in the reverse, you guys. It is Five of Swords in the upright is already a card that represents defeat. So if it's in the reverse, this is the kind of defeat where there's no going back. There's no resurrection after this, this ending here. Things cannot be, you know, made, made amends after whatever they did. This, the Seven of Swords, this scandalous act here, the scandalous way of living, cheating, lying, deceiving, manipulating, stealing, sabotaging there's no like the five of swords is in the reverse there's no going back and the devil the de you know the devil the, the the original meaning is someone who has compromised everything for the material world someone who chose the material world the things of this world, the fame, the status, the attention, the money. They willingly attach themselves to the devil. So that's why now they're living such a karmic life. They're miserable, they're unhappy, they're ill. Someone here, they're, they're, it, they don't have a good health condition. It's the product, it's the outcome of this sneaky lifestyle, seven of swords that they were living. Sabotaging people, backstabbing people, selling people out, throwing people under the bus, manipulating people, deceiving people, backstabbing them, all to be a king of pentacles, all four worldly things. And now they're bound. This is the life that they chose. They're bound to this devil. They are a slave to the devil. Right? So now they have, they, they may have the job. They may have the success. Okay? But there's no emotional fulfillment here. There's no happily ever after here. Mm, mm, mm. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Three of Wands. Waiting for your ships to sail in. Missing someone or missing something. Nine of Swords having sleepless nights. Clarify this Three of Wands. The Chariot. The thing is they're trying to leave this this behind, this lifestyle that they were, you know, the things that they were doing, they're trying to leave it behind and look towards something else. And the chariot is, is forward movement. They want to leave this behind. Now they want their 10 of cups, unconditional love. Money cannot buy you unconditional love. Ten of Cups is your happily ever after. Now that's what they want to go back to. Hmm. 
Hmm. What they thought they wanted, they just don't want it anymore. What they wanted, they no longer want. That's really what it is. What they wanted, they no longer want it. this five of swords in the reverse let's go back to that five of swords in the reverse i feel like this person was doing a lot of dirty deeds for a superficial life because the five of swords can can also be like violence it could be gang violence as well doing something to be initiated to be liked to fit in with a certain crowd of people who would bring them the status that they wanted now they did something where there's just no there's no going back at this point the emperor and the three of swords There's just no going back, you guys. I feel like this person did something that was just immoral. You know, the emperor, it's... It's a masculine energy. It's all about taking charge, taking lead. And the three of swords is heartbreak. I feel like they're going to try to heal what, whatever it is that they did. They're going to try to heal it. They're going to try to embody this emperor energy and take charge and get the situation under control and heal the situation or heal the heartbreak. The strength is overcoming difficulties. But the five, the, the, this five of swords being in the reverse, it's like there's no, there's no coming back. You know, five of swords in the reverse is it, not just like defeat. It's like. I mean, I, maybe this, whatever this person did, it was life-threatening to another person. Maybe. It's like doing something and, and not just leaving someone in a state of defeat, but living, but leaving someone in a state of like being, feeling destroyed, demolished. Anything else about this King of Pentacles? Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, greed, selfishness, having an having attachments, being attached to, uh, to money, holding money too close to their heart. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Four of Swords. And they recognize that because the Four of Swords is like something that's heavily on your mind. Can't get out of their head. This 
this person is just overly consumed with wanting to be successful, wanting to have money, wanting to have recognition, wanting to have status. That's all that was on their mind. They compromised their morals, their dignity, their values. All, of, all to gain the world, but to lose themselves. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Five of Pentacles, it's like leaving someone out in the cold. So it's like a story, you guys. Wait, I may be reading this backwards because I feel like it's like this. This is what happened and now they're here. Now they see the, you know, the, the what they did. Now they see their, their shadow side. Now they see the darkness that they were in. And when they were in darkness, they were also in their in their shadow side. They were also being dark and low vibrational. Five of Pentacles is like feeling left out in the cold, being in despair. It's it's it, it's it's someone who's experiencing hardships. They did this to someone who's a Queen of Swords. They did this to someone, and and that person became the Queen of Swords. They had to, you know, Queen of Swords is not a bad person either. Queen of Swords is is someone who um is more logical than emotional someone who knows how to put their feelings and emotions aside to make the best decision for themselves someone who can be cold and detached but it's to protect herself someone who knows how to set boundaries someone who is very intelligent sharp-minded They left someone out in the cold. They left someone to suffer. And that person became a queen, but a queen of swords. To, to you know, That person was able to protect themselves, so that person is no longer interested. And if you look at the two of them, the king and queen of swords are a couple who are getting a divorce or a separation who are not seeing eye to eye. And the Four of Cups is rejection. Rejected someone, left them out in the cold. They, you know, I feel like this is what they did to this person here. They did that Five of Swords in the reverse to someone. Complete, like, just tried to destroy that person completely. You know? And then left them there to just bleed to just bleed out, left them there to suffer. Four of Cups, rejection. They could have outcasted them, you know, persecuted them, made them feel like they weren't good enough. Tell us more about this Five of Pentacles. Yeah, the high priestess. They did this to a high, pri high priestess. High priestess is very spiritual. Very intuitive. Gifted. Closely connected to the divine. High priestess. This is a sacred person here. You know, this is someone even here with the Eight of Wands. It's almost like they, they waged war on this high priestess. Try to leave them in, in destruction. It's like an attack. It's like they attacked this high priestess, tried to completely demolish this high priestess. Now, if the high priestess is closely connected to the divine, 
This is not someone who could be easily broken. This is not someone who the divine is going to let you destroy and defeat. So this individual definitely could have gotten a rude awakening. Because if we go back, and now, now I'm remembering, if we go back, this may be the same, let me see, Queen of Cups that they now want to talk to with the Page of Swords. They see her as a Queen of Cups, but she's actually now a Queen of Swords when it comes to them. She's now very cold, detached, and protective of her peace when it comes to him because of all the things that he did to her. When all she was trying to do was be a queen of cups, be loving and bring healing to this person. She is clearly the victor, six of wands, who has the ace of pentacles, a divine gift of abundance. And I believe the ace of cups had also came out, a divine gift of a new beginning. Right? Right? So who really got defeated? Who really got demolished here? Not this high priestess, I'll tell you that. Because this masculine energy is in a situation now with the, you know, it's almost like I'm reading it this way from right to left. This is what he did to, to become the king of pentacles. And now here he is as a seven of, as a seven of wands, defensive, paranoid, feeling attacked. Now wanting to switch sides. Now wanting to be with the victor who clearly he had waged an attack on. Tell us more about this five of pentacles. Strength. Told you. This is someone who is closely connected to the divine. You cannot break someone who finds their strength in God. If this person gets their strength from God, you can't break them. The high priest is a sacred. In some readings, she's even a messenger of God, a prophet. And when I clarified the five of pentacles, you know, being in despair, I clarified it and the strength card came out. This person is too strong for whatever this masculine tried to do. They are too, you know, they have too much strength. And they were able to overcome this five of pentacles, pick themselves up. They became very wise. Queen of swords is a very, uh, very intelligent, highly intelligent. She can spot nonsense from a mile away because she had to deal with a lot of nonsense in her past. The strength is overcoming difficulties. They were able to overcome this five of pentacles that this king of pentacles put them in. And even on the back, the star. The star is wish fulfillment. This person is getting everything. This high priestess, who's also that queen of cups, is getting everything that they've been wanting, that they've been manifesting, praying, asking, wishing, hoping for. The divine is answering their prayers and bringing their manifestations to life. This person is a star. This person is, and let me find out this is someone who is chosen because their star shines brighter than the rest of the other stars. So if this is someone who's chosen, this masculine here has, this is why this masculine is like a slave to, to that devil. 
and has a lot of karma here, a lot of karmic debt to pay. They must pay for what they did to this high priestess. But it was all divinely orchestrated because I feel like it gave a lot of strength to this high priestess here. A lot of wisdom, intelligence, a lot of willpower, and a lot of faith with the star here, a lot of faith. Trusting that in the end, she will be victorious, that she will be the star, and she is. And trust me, you know, remember that the cards are energies. Maybe this is a male. This high priestess could be a male. King of Swords could be a female. Okay, you guys remember their energies that anyone can embody. What is this message of communication with the Page of Swords, you know? Because I did see here that now this person is like really defensive because they realized that they, you know, maybe they woke up and they were seeing the darkness that they were a part of, that they were participating in. Now they want to be in the light. So that's why they're trying to reach out to the, to the Queen of Cups, who is the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is a secret keeper. She knows things that other people don't know. She is very valuable. She may have even known things that this masculine was going through that he himself did not know. You have the Knight of Swords. This is a swift action taker, very, very swift. So just expect, if you are this Queen of Cups and that High Priestess, just expect to receive communication. What's going on with this masculine right now with the seven of wands? Because they're so defensive. Five of wands. They, they feel attacked. They're defensive. This person's worried. I just heard worried, stressed. There's a lot of anxiety. Five of wands is conflict. This masculine is in conflict here. He is in war. There's some sort of warfare that's going on. He's being backstabbed with the Ten of Swords, the ultimate defeat. Y'all, this person is in war. And I'm pretty sure this High Priestess could have given some good insight to this masculine who could have used that insight to avoid this from happening. I'm seeing a group of people attacking one person. It's like this masculine is being annihilated, but it's the same annihilation that he was trying to bring to this uh, uh, high priestess here. And I'm seeing a group. Just like how he could have used a group to destroy this high priestess. There is a group that is tearing this person's behind up whoever this masculine is. He's being backstabbed 10 times. There's no getting up after this. This man is on the ground. He's bleeding out, being left to bleed. But that's the same thing that I saw that he had done to this high priestess. This is looking like karmic justice, but this is a gruesome, horrifying karmic justice for this person. Now they want to back out. Now they want to back out. Oh, I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I want to be in the light. I see things clearly now. But then the devil is like, oh no, we made a deal. You compromised your morals. Your beliefs. Your principles, your values. You compromised yourself. For this to be a king of pentacles, remember, to have this success and this money, this fame, this status, you're not going anywhere. Man.
I don't know if I want to look into this anymore. This Ten of Swords and this Five of Wands energy, it's too much for one person to take because I feel like it's, some, it's, it's like a group of people who are doing this. It's several people ganging up on one person. Tell me about this Ten of Swords and this Five of Swords. Five of Swords, let me be fair. Five, uh, six of Swords in the reverse and a Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I have to be fair. I was trying to hold it up like this. I feel bad for this person. I wanted it to be this. And then I heard very clearly to turn it upside down. So here we go. Six of Swords, if it's in the upright, it's being able to move things from rough waters to calmer waters. But it's in the reverse. There's no moving away from this. So it's like someone here is stuck in hell. Hell hell here on earth, though. And there's no escaping. There's no getting out of this. There's no moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. This person lost their fortune. Whatever fortune they built off of compromising their morals, their beliefs, their values, they lost it. So was it really worth it in the end? No. They lost their Ten of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles wanted the Ten of Pentacles. They wanted generational wealth. They wanted the nice cars, the nice homes, the nice clothes, you know. The trophy spouse. It's in the reverse. They lost it. They've lost all their stability. Justice. They have to face justice. Look, look at something. Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Six of Cups is a reunion. It's all about the past. It's thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past. This karmic justice here is because of what they did in the past to who? A Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is victorious. Queen of Wands is a warrior. She fought her battles and conquered them. That's why she has that Ace of Pentacles, a divine gift of abundance and she has that divine gift of a new beginning. She passed all her tests. She overcame all the obstacles in her life. She's moving towards her new beginning. But now someone here has to get someone here is getting is experiencing justice here. The scales has to be balanced. They this person is experiencing what they wanted, what they thought this uh, high priestess would be in. The Queen of Cups high priestess and the Queen of Wands are the same people. This person wanted to make life hard for this high priestess with this five of swords, putting her in defeat where there's no coming back. When, like I'm telling, like they probably wanted this five, this high priestess to be in a in a state of like des uh, uh, destitution, completely humiliated, impoverished. Broken, destroyed just annihilated but she bounced back i'm telling you this is someone uh, uh uh who has strength they overcame difficulties they took their pain and turned it into power this person may even be an empress they're the queen of cups queen of wands queen of swords uh the high priestess did they come as a queen of pentacles if we pull up this person, if we look into that queen, she may even be a queen of pentacles. If she's all four queens, she's an empress. The empress is all four queens put together. Or she's about to become a queen of pentacles because she has the ace of pentacles being given to her by the most high. 
Someone here bounced back like, like nothing ever happened. Like she looks victorious. When people look at this high priestess, they can't even tell that she went through a five of pentacles. That, that someone tried to give her a five of swords in the reverse. When people look at her, she carries the spirit of a victor. You Like this is someone who just, you know, like can't be touched. Where's the six of wands? This is the energy that she carries. Like move out the way. I conquered everything. What's next? What's the next challenge? This is a warrior. A warrior of the most high. This is a high priestess. This is one of his servants who someone did this to. And they have to pay. I feel like everything just backfired on this person completely in a very horrifying way. I don't even want to continue tapping to this person's energy. Because I see some gruesome things happening to this individual. This is a reckless person. They neglect, they neglect themselves. And I feel like they went too far with, with trying to destroy a high priestess. And they could have even done certain things that was very threatening to her life. Yes, that's what I'm saying. You heard it. And that's what they're experiencing now. Five of Swords, it's, it's a violent card. It's violence. You see people fighting with swords. So in the reverse, I'm just going to leave that here. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Trying to get someone caught up. Trying to throw people under, under the bus. Set people up. You know, you know what I'm talking about if this is your story. Now they're experiencing that. Why would you do this to someone? Because you want to be a king of pentacles. And you lost it all. You lost it. You lost your, this is like, I mean, in the, in the upright ten of pentacles is generational wealth. In the reverse, they lost everything. Generational poverty. Some of these people cursed their lineage, their descendants, because they touched a high priestess. Their, 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 their children's children may suffer because of what they did to a high priestess. Ten of Pentacles is generational. It's like someone's life is going in the reverse someone's losing everything all their stability all their luxury it's going in the reverse it's declining it's regressing and unfortunately it may affect their generations to come Oh, my head hurts. I can't go into this person's energy anymore, but this is justice. I'm going to leave that there, okay, you guys? Thank you guys for watching. Um, I really hope that this reading, um, the war is over. I'm hearing that the war is over. If you're this high priestess, you have your new beginning to start. Everything's been handled. The divine has handled everything, but someone here has been annihilated because they tried the wrong person. You don't have nothing to worry about if you're the high priestess. You're covered 100%. And some of you may even have people protecting you and you don't even know it. The same people who they try to send after you to do stuff to you are the same people who are now protecting you and going against them. It's just the divine protection that God's servants have on their life. And someone here really, really messed with the wrong person. I'm just going to end it there. Thank you guys. Take care.